Since you started this year, new job, I haven't seen you. You're so scarce. <laughs> My princess. Isn't it up to two months now? I haven't seen you. <laughs> My princess. You're only exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Please see. I come home weekends, but when the workload is too much, I stay back. I understand. I miss you. I miss you too, my princess. I hope you got something for me from your last shopping. Trust me. <laughs> I did. Um, I missed you too. <laughs> I see. A lot has been happening lately in the palace. My princess, I do not want you to leave out any part of the gist. Let me hear. It's the king. I don't know what you mean by me being miserable. I'm just tired. I need to rest. Did you just say rest? No, everybody, did you just say you need to rest? So what have you been doing ever since you left the king? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have been in this house all by yourself, doing nothing. You refuse to do nothing. Mm. You left your business in the hands of your staff. I just hope they don't mess things up for you. Okay, honestly. girls, please. I don't know where this conversation is headed. Can I just have my peace? Please. Okay, um, <clears throat> we're here to take you out. And we are not taking no for an answer. You will have to take me over an answer because I'm not taking an inch from this house. Listen, girls, I just want to be in here. I just want some solitude, some quietness. I don't... I'm not going out, please. Why are you acting like you're heartbroken? I mean, it was your decision to leave the king. No one forced you. So the elders of our community want him to take four wives on the same day, representing the four market states. Failure to do so, he will face the consequences of my decision to leave the palace. Um, where is this coming from? I mean, who, who, who told you this? He called me. Told me about it. I mean, I didn't know you were having any sort of conversation with the king. So why did you leave him? Why I left is something I can't explain. I, I don't even want to talk about it. Okay, Bube, you are the queen of Ezra Kingdom. And you know Ezra Kingdom is a kingdom that loves ancient ways and tradition. Honestly, I do not know your reason, but I sincerely hope it is worth it. Thank you, Amanda. I will be fine. You are right. I will be fine. Trust me. Okay, so we want to hang out. We want to have fun. So go we'll get dressed. I wonder are you feigning to be deaf? I said earlier that I wasn't going anywhere. I meant it. I'm not. For real? Please. For real. So girls, that is the premium gist in town now. I confirm from both my father and the princess. You know she's my very good friend. Mm -hmm. I always admire the king. And to crown it, he's a young man. <laughs> you see, I don't even know why the queen will leave our king as handsome as he is. And she feels it's normal. Ha. Oh, well. Well, like the saying goes, one man's food is another man's poison. Mm -mm. This one is wrong. 
I mean, the queen is senseless. Uh-uh. How can, how can she do that? See, if I'm the one, ah, it's a do or die affair. <laughs> I will remain in that marriage. Whatever I see, I will stay there. <laughs> royalty, royalty. Ha, king. Oh, God. So, <clears throat> fine. Fair. My spec. Well, I feel, <clears throat> I know. Hmm? I think I stand a chance. Because I was born in a K market day. And before my grandmother's death, she usually called me Mweke. So, I'm Mweke. <laughs> really? Yes. Come to think of it. I don't even know the market day which I was born on. Maybe I'll ask my father. No, I don't need to ask anybody. My house is far. I'll use my phone. Madam researcher, mm -hmm. you always know how to research everything. Of course. See, anything you want to know in this life, mm -hmm. just Where ask Google. Come, come, open, open, open. Miss me. Your date. Let him wear the crown, no. Do not fight a man ordained by God. Yeah, cause you will never, never win. Why the envy? Envy. Why all the jealousy? Jealousy. You have forgotten your duties in the kingdom. Father, you can make this happen. Of course, I can make anything happen. Your father, Onowu in Zafrukwe, can pull out anything I want. But the issue is not making it happen. The issue here is that that stubborn boy, that our stubborn new king, has refused to see reason to accept the council of the elders of the land. I believe with time he would understand and come to terms with the elders. Father, I am, I am qualified to be one of the maidens. Father, I am Ngweke. I was born on a key market day. <laughs> My daughter, who told you that? <laughs> See, that's name, Amaka, everybody calls you. The full name is Eke Amaka. <laughs> My friends and I searched it, and we found out that we were all born on a key market day. Okay. There's going to be a competition. <laughs> My daughter, I am on Owens Africa. And anything I want, that I get. Competition or no competition. The fact is that once the king comes to terms and accepts to do what the council of elders are asking him to do, you, my daughter, will be number one choice to become our next queen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Where, where is this obsession of wanting to be the queen coming from? Instead of you to go back and concentrate on your job, you are here rooting to be with a king, a man who is subjected to marry many women. Do you even know the stress and battle of polygamy? Do you know? Mama, who is talking about the stress or the battle involved? It's about the prestige. Do you know what it means to become the queen of Umezora kingdom? One stands to gain a lot from all fronts. That's what we're talking about. Not about the stress or battle. Who's talking about stress or battle? Hey. Hey. I have said my own no. If you like, do what I have said. If you don't like, do whatever you want to do. Now you will not advise your daughter. You are supporting her. Shut up. Make you go on to the queen. What you, what are you even saying? The prayer of every parent is that their children should be greater than they are. Mm -hmm. You are the wife of Ono. 
And our daughter here is now privileged to become the queen of Umezora kingdom. Is that no prayer answered? Our daughter wants a good life for herself. And I, her father, supports her. Continue. I will not even say anything to both of you again. Do you see me again? Oh! I will and never be a party to that. Ekama, come on. Let's plan. Let's do it. I will follow my mother to be jealous. before the king who rules over Mezara kingdom. Despite the troubles, your reign will continue to be great, your majesty. What troubles you? Thank you. How about us? I know that you have been keeping tabs with all that has been happening palace and around the kingdom. Hmm? I'd like to know what you think. I, I already refer to them as troubles, Your Majesty. It's just for a period of time. Nothing lasts forever, Your Majesty. Thank you. But that still has not answered the question. Hmm? Your Majesty, mm -hmm. ignore the elders. Most importantly, what we should be looking at now is why the queen left the palace. That, in my considered opinion, is very important. Yes, until you know the reason, I don't think it's wise to bring another woman into the palace as a queen. Oh, balance. One can readily see why you have remained my personal assistant for the longest. You are sound, very intelligent. See, the young and the married women of women's our kingdom are already fighting to be among the four chosen queens. I, I, and, uh, and, and I'm convinced we should not play into that confusion. Majesty, all we need is patience. With patience, we will get it right. I believe you are aware of the development in this kingdom. You should be able to speak to your brother, the king, to do the right thing. He is avoiding the council of elders. And the elders will not sit and allow things go wrong. The queen cannot just pack out of the palace. That is the height of irresponsibility. And we, the council of elders, will not sit and allow such to linger from what we think. Your brother, the king, is hiding something. And the council of elders will be left with no other choice than to compel him. And the council of elders will not hesitate to take the bull by the horns. I implore you to calm down, Omo. I understand your anger. But I want to tell you that my brother will do the right thing very soon. From the look of things, he is not emotionally stable right now. 
But I know that he will come around very soon. My princess, you come on. Ibezia. At all, oh Malo. Oh Malo. At all, oh Feke. Oh Feni Sinofia. Your brother should not push us to the wall. To the point that we have to compel him to raise the secret staff of Omoezora. I may remind you that will kill the queen wherever she is. He better make her while the sun shines because the council of elders will do that. We can't just sit and watch our land destroyed. I will be on my way. Whoever had a cup of it, let him wear the crown. Oh. Do not fight a man ordained by gods. Yeah, cause you will never, never win. Why the envy? Why all the jealous? Why is he not speaking to anyone? <laughs> Be seated, please. You know, I am just wondering what brings the no nonsense princess up when I'm more from where I came up for my presence. Oh, Wefi, you are one man my brother respects so much. I need you to talk to him. Talk to him on what grounds? He has refused to do the needful since the queen left the palace. My brother has become a shadow of himself. The elders have told him what to do to solve the problem, but he has refused to tell that part. So, Princess Apunangwa, I want to ask you. You actually believe that your brother, marrying four women the same day as the elders in council has speculated, four women representing the four market days, you believe that is a permanent solution to the problem? Obuefi, I will give you a straight answer to your question. Right. I believe that as a king, the more women you marry, the greater you become. The more sons and daughters you have, that will build a good lineage for you when you are no more. Well, I'm not going to pretend I don't know where this is coming from. I know where you are coming from. But I'm going to tell you, Princess Apunawo, that you have nothing, as in absolutely nothing, to be worried about. So after all I said, you are still insisting that I have nothing to worry about? Of course. I need you to understand something. Your brother did not just become king out of his own volition. He passed through all the royal scrutiny and he was chosen by the ancestors of Umar Zora to be king. And to the best of my knowledge, he has not deviated from the ways of the gods. His footsteps will be guided by the gods and the ancestors of this land. You don't have anything to be worried about. Had a cup of it, oh. Let him wear the crown, oh. Do not. Oh, Mama Sarunga, please come to Daddy. Hmm? Chief Dead. I must be for one. What is the meaning of this? Why are you parked blocking my estate's gates and obstructing me driving in? The most beautiful one. 
I have been calling you. I have sent you several messages. You have not replied to anyone. Um, so, Onyego have no choice than to come and block this estate because I know you will definitely pass here while going to your house. Um, but I am sorry, beautiful angel. Uh, let me remove this so that you can cross. Hmm? Uh, uh, come, 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 come. As you get into your car, make sure you drive away from this premises. Don't you ever come back here to look for me. I mean it. Don't come back. Uh, uh, my mama, is that how you're addressing me? Uh, do you know the kind of man you are talking to? Look, my dear, I, I love you so much. And see, if you accept me as your man, I am going to send everybody out of this estate and buy this estate for you. Huh? Onyego is talking now. Now listen to me, Mr. Man. I am not a woman of too many words. But trust me, the next time I see you anywhere around me, I will sue you for trespassing. Honestly, I can smuggle assault into it and get you in prison for life. Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? Is it, is it because I love you? No, tell me, who the hell are you to and look at? who the bloody hell do you think you are? Look, huh? come on. Who do you think you are? Now I'm going to make this clear. This is the last time I want to see you anywhere around me. You come close to me again, huh? you wouldn't like it. Look at this. Look, 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 is it because I love you? Who are you to look at you? Tell me that you are going to send me to prison. The same prison I donated to federal government. You want to send me to in a yala? Is it because I love you? You should have a change of heart. You look like Telly Tobies. When you do that, you can have. Yeah, my friend. Don't talk to me that way. Who are you? If you don't get out of my way, I will run you over. You should be happy. You, you like like a man, a man like me is asking you out. I wonder why a young lady like that will not want to be with any man. She left the king to be alone. Who does that? Or is it that she has personal hatred for me? Why will she? She does not know me so well. I am the one who knows her. And I stand to gain a lot if I succeed in marrying her. Because the one of prosperity of the royal home is still on her. I chief dead. I am every woman's dream. And that queen who left her husband and become a fallible for boys will not be an exception. <laughs> reason. It will be. Looking at it critically, why won't they come? The men are coming because they know you're hot. I mean, you're beautiful. The problem I have with you is that you are never ever serious with issues like this. Why can't you just face what we have at hand? <laughs> I am never serious with Yes. Me. I am facing the issue we have at hand. How? Men are coming for you, Abel Bay. So you have two options. Choose between the men that are coming or you go back to the palace. Really? Yes, please. <laughs> and you think being blunt is the new flex right now, isn't it? <laughs> That's one thing I don't like about you. You are too blunt. Fine. Fine. I am blunt. I know. But I'm telling the truth. Choose between going back to the king or you pick one of the men to marry you, Abu Bey. And you think that's an option for me? That's not even what I'm going to put into consideration. I am not picking any man. Fine. You're on your own. Thank you. Please, do you have anything to, to, 
eat or drink find and out when first. you get into the kitchen right Oh no, you see the problem we are having? The king is not even ready to marry four wives. He is equally not ready to lift the offer to save our land from the calamity that will come with the immorality of the queen. Now the question is, what should we do? I don't know why that young man, our king, is stubborn. If not that he is the king, I would have said that woman chanted. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not that, eh? He is the king. And as a king, there is no charm in this world that can have potency on him. Oh no, one can I do? What shall we do? Give her a man who I can all buy you go down. Eh? Ichi Agumba. How did you guys say so? I think the Council of Elders will organize and then go to him. We have to go and speak to him. Oh no. You mean we should confront the king? How shall we confront the king? How? Chiagumba. Onabu Asogide Zaya. Katanisi. When you have exhausted every humility in talking to the king and he refuses to listen, you confront him head on and say the truth to him. Oh no. See, I believe in speaking truth to power. But the question is does he even believe that what we are telling him is true? Does he? He doesn't. Then we will continue to tell him the truth. Drink. The fact that the king has refused to come to see us, even after we have spent more than one hour in this place, is deliberate. I want us to be settled about that. I am equally pleased. But since Eleke the Bird has decided to fly without patching, the hunter will learn to shoot without aiming. Elders of our land, we have to wait for the king. We must settle this issue today. The king must tell us why he has refused to take the new four wives as the custom demands. Oh no, we see Amaram. If it is so difficult for him to find the four wives, we can organize a maiden festival for him to choose from. There shall be no such arrangements in Roman's kingdom. A king is always a king, and he remains the king. We are here to see the king, and not you, Obalanzi. The king has given me an instruction, and I am here to pass it. Elders should stop encouraging the unmarried women of women's or kingdom. The king is not looking for a wife. The king cannot come out to address us. He sent you to us. 
balance. O balance, don't be the ones that lead you out for Jebel Chiakamba. I am the mouthpiece of the king. And I have just passed a message from the king. There is no problem in the land. So you elders should not create one. The king is not going to marry the four women. He is married just to one woman. And that is the queen. The one who is no longer in the palace. The one who is no longer of any use to him. The one who... Oh no, won't The bleating of the coat does not really mean the food has finished. Do not give the king the impression that you are challenging him. He is the king, and he may decide to rise against you as the king. I'm very sure you will not like that. You all may live in peace now. I don't know what is wrong with the king. He has forgotten that we are the king makers, okay? We put him there. Mm -hmm. And we can equally unseat him. Unseat him, yes! My fellow elders, it's okay. What is okay? I think we should give the king we cannot force him to do what he does not want to do. Eh? Just small time. That's all. It is not just about him. It's not just about your king. It's about the entire kingdom. Mm. Yes. Oh no. We have to do something about this behavior of the king. That young man is pushing me to the wall. And I will soon lose it. When I do, when I do, I will just for him. Let's go. Why are the elders upset? I saw them leaving the palace with angry faces. Still on the same issue, I guess. Yes, my princess. Still on the same issue. Do you think the king is doing the right thing by paying deaf ears to the elders? I feel we should give the king the chance. Let him think and know the best decision to take. It is not too late. Nothing has gone wrong yet in the kingdom, and I'm sure nothing will ever go wrong. Should I understand this to mean that you are going to lead him on until something wrong happens? That is not the correct interpretation to what is playing out, my princess. The wise will understand me effortlessly. And what are you insinuating? That I am not wise? I never said so, my princess. You never said so directly. But you said it indirectly. I am sorry if my intention differ from your understanding, my princess. But that is not what I meant. I am watching you closely in this palace. I am going to perforate you. I said it before, and I am going to do that. I am a god under Ruyu Earth in this palace, my princess. And it is not right that you always threaten me. A balance, or whatever they call you. This is not a threat. I am going to perforate you.
are you acting like a snake that swallowed something? What is this? Uh, How did you get in here in the first place and what are you doing here? Come on, your majesty. Come on. Don't you like what you see? I am more than qualified to be among your queens. Mm. To respond to your question, no. I don't like what I see. I am actually disgusted by what I see. I am not qualified to be a queen. You are only qualified to be a cheap slut. What did you just say? I said that you are going to make a good mischief maker and not a queen. And to think that I recognize you as my wife's friend. <laughs> that is what I am saying. Yeah. A friend to a queen is also a queen. And then I I came prepared to give you all of this, you know. But unfortunately you're not qualified to be a queen. However, you will qualify as a chip slot. Come on, Your Majesty. I mean, your words are, are hurting me deep down. The Look. next time you come here to pull this kind of stunt in front of me, it is not going to end well. I am not looking for a queen. I have a queen, the love of my life, the only woman that I see. Don't come here again. Get out. covering them before me. It is obvious why you are here. You are one of those cheap sluts who are always here to seduce my brother. Just because you heard the rumor that is spraying around. I beg your pardon. I am not a cheap slut. Do you have a better name they call you? I am Mabel. And I have never sworn an feed of it to change that name. Mabel, or whatever they call you. That my brother is expected to remarry does not mean he will go for anything. Now, leave my presence and never come back here again. Do not insult me. And be fool should not insult herself. Leave now before I ask them to release the dogs. Leave! Because of this insult, I will go all out to marry the king and you will be the first person I am going to deal with. Nonsense. You can talk to us. Every problem has a solution. And you know the good thing about this? I don't have a problem with you. This goat right here is the one I have a problem with. Go to what? Ha. What happened? Ask the chicken what she went to the palace to do. Eh? Mabel. 
You went to the palace? What for? <laughs> you can't find your tongue anymore. Hmm? This little nitwit here actually went to the palace to seduce my husband, thinking in her dumb skull that he would stoop so low as to pick in her as one of his brides. Hey! Wow, wow, woo! Mabel! Mabel! How can you do a thing like this? What is it? Did I ask her to leave her husband? Did I ask her to leave the king? Did I ask her to leave the comfort of her home and come here? Did I ask her to leave her position and her role? What harm did I do? I only tried to fit in. She stepped out and I stepped in. And since when did it become evil for one to wish good for herself? It's, it's revy, revy. the cup of it all. let him wear the crown no. do not fight a man ordained by gods yeah cause you will never never win why the envy envy why all the jealousy Jealous. you have forgotten your duties in the kingdom swallow your pride let us all live in peace oh Child. I cannot do for Ghana. No one can cause the man the gods has blessed. Oh. No one can bless the man the gods has caused. Oh. So do not envy the man the gods have chosen. Ah, it is a fight to never win. Hey, what work can we need more faith? you do will live with you the consequences is big oh. why the envy envy why all the jealousy